Hey friends, Sampada Kulkarni welcomes you in my channel Tech Talks. In this video series, we are learning the concept of recursion. So, before moving to the content, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel Tech Talks and keep the bell ringing. Till now, what we have seen, we have seen what is recursion and why do we need the recursion. Then we have seen the types and the types of cases also. We have also seen working of recursion with the help of example. In the previous video session, we have seen use of stack for a recursive function call. And now in this session, we are looking for the applications of the recursive function call. And then we will move forward for the difference between recursion and the iteration and their advantages and the disadvantages. So let's start with the applications of recursion. So recursion is a very powerful technique that has many applications in the computer science and the programming. So let's have a look on the applications of the recursion. So, very first application is the searching algorithm. You must know the binary search algorithm which uses the recursive functionality of the algorithm and this algorithm is used with the help of divide and the con conquer funda where it divides the data into smaller subarrays or a sublist and then search the required key value from the given set of values. The another application is sorting algorithm. Mainly the quick sort and the merge sort, sort. Both are the example who uses the recursive algorithm. Also uses the divide and conquer wala funda. And again it divides the data into smaller subarrays or the sublists. It sorts them and it conquers the result in a quick sort and in a merge sort, it merges the list again to get the result of the merge sort. Then the tree and the graph traversal, tree data structure and the graph data structure for the traversal of both the data structures, the recursive functions are used. So recursive algorithms can be used to explore all the nodes or the vertices of tree or a graph in a systematic way. Then as I explained previously with the help of searching and sorting algorithms, divide and conquer, conquer algorithm is one strategy of the algorithm who divides the list and who conquers the result with the help of recursive algorithm. This approach is called as divide and conquer approach. For example, a binary search algorithm who recursively breaks down the list or a problem into smaller subproblems and conquers the result. Then another strategy of algorithm is backtracking, where the backtracking is useful when there is a need to take some decision and when that decision is dependent on a previous decision. So backtracking algorithms are used to solve the problem that involve making a sequence of decisions where each decision depends on the previous one and these algorithm can be implemented using recursion to explore all possible paths and backtrack when a solution is not found. So in case of backtracking strategy, recursion is used. Memorization is an algorithm or strategy or used when the involvement of storing the result of the expensive function call and returning the cached re result when the same inputs occur again and again. In this situation, the memorization is required. Memorization means it memorizes the results and utilizes the same when the same inputs are occurring again and again. So these are the few well-known examples where the recursion is useful. Now let's move forward for the comparison between recursion and the iteration followed by the advantages and disadvantages of the recursion. So recursion, recursive function call versus the iteration used in the function. 
so the recursion it terminates when the base condition base case becomes true and the iteration it terminates when the condition becomes false then recursive function or recursion is used with the function and iteration when you want to use the iteration it is used with the help of loops then the recursion every recursive call needs extra space in the stack memory because it utilizes the implicit stack where every iteration does not require any extra space because it is not utilizing any stack space in the memory but the advantage is that it is smaller core size and here the larger core size as we have seen previously few examples in which for example let's take the example of binary search this can be implemented with recursion or without recursion and with the help of iteration and if you have observed that with recursion code is having a smaller size and without recursion that is with the help of iteration code is having a larger code size then let's see the advantages of the recursion so recursion helps in reducing the length of the code as we have just seen previously the last point of the comparison it reduces the length of a code size of a code it provides a clean and straightforward way to write the code and it's very easy but provided your base and the iterative condition must be correct if they are correct then it is going to be very easy recursion is preferred in problems like searching and sorting techniques tree traversal and the tower of hanai we will see the tower of hanai in the next few slides before that let's move forward with the help of disadvantages of the recursion we have seen the advantages now let's have a look on a disadvantages of recursion recursive functions are a bit slower than the non recursive functions because every time the control has to move from one function to another function and it again utilizes the implicit stack as well it has more significant space requirements space complexity than that of the iterative programs it has a more significant requirement of time that is time complexity due to function calls and it is bit difficult to understand the concept of recursion and the use of the recursion let's recall the basics of recursion in few minutes so there are two types of recursion cases like the base case and the recursive case base case is used to terminate the recursive function and the recursive case helps to make a recursive call that we have to keep in mind always then stack keeps track of the function calls it remembers where to return the control after each call and helps to manage the intermediate results as well the incorrect base condition results into the infinite recursion and it may lead to return running out of the stack memory or it may happen that stack overflow error may occur in your program and the examples are binary search merge sort quick sort tower of hanai fibonacci series factorial problem etc binary search merge sort quick sort are the common examples in this series we have already gone through the fibonacci series as well as the factorial problem and now let's see the tower of hanai Must have observed that we can't place the larger disk on the top of the smaller disk. This is the rule we are supposed to follow while transferring the disk from one rod to another rod. And at the end, the third rod must be having the set of disk 
in the proper sequence that is largest disc must be at the bottom and the smallest disc must be on the top this is the example or the application of stack because you can see only the top of stack is available for moving the stack content or the disc hence these all three will play a role of stack in this example So here you can see at the third stack is holding all the six disc in a proper sequence that the largest disc is at the bottom and according to the size in a decreasing order they are placed one by one and on the top of the stack or on the top of the rod the smallest disc is placed. So thank you friends for listening and watching this video. I hope you will try to implement the Tower of Honai with the help of recursion and with the help of stack. If you like the content and the video, please like the video, subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you. Happy learning. Happy data structuring. Keep watching. Thank you.